The world of electric vehicles is widening at a fascinating pace and it means that now there's more choice than ever. We've got cars like the Mazda MX-30 and the Audi Q4 e-tron, both of which you can see our reviews on on the motors.co.uk YouTube channel. But with EVs comes a bewildering number of terms and new information to find out. Things like kilowatts, charging speeds, and just rapid charging. What does it all mean and what does it mean for you? Well, today we're going to go through some of these key terms that you need to know so that you're tooled up if you are looking to switch to an electric car. Range. Range is, of course, a big one when it comes to electric cars. But one of the best places to start is to look at how far you drive most of the time. If you're only doing local journeys, then you won't need a car with as long of a range. Likewise, if you're frequently traveling further afield, a longer range will definitely be needed. It's good to work this out beforehand, as EVs with the longest ranges often command a serious premium. Charging rates. Now we're going to start getting more technical. A kilowatt is a measurement of how much power something consumes or how quickly it can transfer power to another area. So electric chargers up and down the country are rated in kilowatts, and the higher the number, the faster you'll be able to charge. When it comes to a car's battery, this is measured in kilowatt hours. Again, the higher the number, the larger the battery, and the greater amount of energy it'll be able to store. For example, the Renault Zoe has a 52 kilowatt hour battery and it can travel for up to 234 miles. The Mercedes EQS, in contrast, has a huge 107.8 kilowatt hour battery and that can do up to 453 miles on a charge. But there's one more thing to remember and that's the charging speed that your car can actually accept. The Mazda MX-30, for example, can only charge at a maximum speed of 40 kilowatts. So even if you plug it into a super speedy 125 kilowatt rapid charger, the most it'll be able to charge at is 40 kilowatts. If you're after shorter charge times, then this is something definitely worth checking out before you buy. Public chargers. Infrastructure is often seen as one of the key stumbling blocks facing those looking to get an EV, but is ramping up impressively quickly. According to ZapMap, which is one of the UK's leading charge point mapping firms, there are now just over 51,000 connectors in the UK at 30,421 devices spread across 19,150 locations. These figures don't include business charge points either, so things are definitely getting better. ZapMap will also show you the price of charge points. Most cost between 25 to 35p per kilowatt hour. Some are higher and some are lower, just like petrol stations. But even at that average, the savings compared to petrol or diesel are quite clear. Home charging. Home charging is one of the easiest ways to add charge to an electric vehicle. Though of course, it's not possible for all drivers. If you can, it's definitely worth having one installed. You'll need to go through a certified company to have the installation done, and they'll do a check of your home to ensure that its electricity supply will be able to cope with charging an electric car. Now that the government's grant has been removed, sadly a home charger will cost around £800, though many car companies are providing their own incentives to drive down this cost. Driving. But what are EVs actually like to drive? Well, if you've never driven one before, you'll no doubt notice the immediate response that you get from the electric motor, and it helps to make EVs feel an awful lot quicker away from the lights than their petrol and diesel counterparts. Unsurprisingly, they're very quiet too, while the power transition is really smooth, which helps to make them feel a bit more relaxing to drive. You'll also have to get used to the braking. As EVs collect energy that would otherwise be lost when slowing down through a system called regenerative braking, they'll slow themselves down when you lift off the throttle. In some cars, you can adjust this, meaning that the car will slow itself down more aggressively depending on the mode you're in. This does help when driving around town, and of course, it adds extra charge to the battery.